Hello there everyone and again welcome back to my channel. Again, my name is Teacher CJ. Ma'am CJ or CJ Sam and yes, for today we are going to talk about Music 8, lesson number 2. Keep watching! So hello there again and yes for today still we are going to have our lesson in music 8 Southeast Asian and before we move on to our lesson number 2 so for today let us just have a short review so again last time we already looked at the picture okay the map of Southeast Asian and we also Okay, we insert we also encircled last time the different countries that we can find there so we have Laos Burma Thailand Thailand Cambodia Vietnam we have Malaysia we have Philippines and so on okay so again for the Southeast Asian countries again we have Brunei Cambodia Indonesia Laos Malaysia Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Timor-Leste, and Vietnam. Okay, and last time, we already finished talking about Cambodia, Myanmar, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Alright, now for today, again, for this lesson, lesson number two, we are going to talk about vocal and instrumental music of Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, and Singapore. Are you ready? Okay, so before we start our discussion, let us have these ones first. So let us have the content standard. For the content standard, again, the learner demonstrates understanding of common musical characteristics of the region as well as unique characteristics of a particular Southeast Asian country. Okay, performance standard. The learner performs Southeast Asian songs with appropriate pitch, rhythm, expression, and style. Okay, next, let us have the learning competencies. Okay, we have the learner. A. Listens perceptively to music of Southeast Asia. Okay, MU8SE1, AH2. B. Analyzes musical elements of selected songs and instrumental pieces heard and performed. MU8SE1BH4. Now let us have our discussion. So let's start with the first country. So as you can see here, the first country that we are going to talk about is Thailand. Have you ever been to Thailand? If you can see here, there is an elephant, okay? So elephant is actually the official national animal of Thailand. And long time ago, okay, um, and long time ago, elephants were used in a war fair, okay? So that is why for them, for Thais, okay, or in that country, in Thailand, elephants are really important animals okay so now Thailand CM is the old name of Thailand it is also called Moang Thai which means land of the free because Thailand wasn't under Western power okay so Thailand wasn't under Western power so that is why it is also called Moang Thai which means the land of the free and its musical principles and elements are basically derived from Chinese music while its musical instruments are inspired from the Indian and Indonesian strings and gongs. Okay, so it means like principles and elements of Chinese music plus Indian and Indonesian musical instruments they combine them together to create to create their unique music okay so Chinese elements Chinese musical principles and elements plus Indian and Indonesian musical instruments 
okay combine together again to create their own created or own unique music okay now let's continue so i will let you watch this video so this is uh, the traditional thailand song or thailand music so again i will let you watch a little of this video and then later um you can just go to the link below so that you can watch the full video okay okay so if you can see they use percussion instruments okay drums type of drums okay so if you can see here they also have woodwind instruments okay and then string instruments so a combination of percussion instruments woodwind instruments or like aerophones and then chordophones or um stringed instruments okay Precaution. Okay, it's like a flute. Okay, it's like a gong, right, or xylophone. Okay, with mallets, all right? And then another woodwind instrument. Okay, so this is an example of Thai, or an exa this is a video of Thai traditional music, or thra traditional Thai music. Now, let's talk about uh, the musical instruments, or let's talk about Thai music again. So, there are actually three primary instrumental ensembles in Thailand. So, let's see. The first one is Pipat. Okay, Pipat. Uh, a mid-sized orchestra that is actually performed in either outdoor style okay with hard mallets or indoor style with padded mallets okay so here's a picture of pipa okay next one we have guru wang sai okay it is an orchestra that combines some of the percussion and wind instruments of the pipa with an expanded string section this group is primarily used for indoor performances and for a, the accompaniment of stick popper puppet theater so you can usually watch and listen to this orchestra or to listen to this different or to listen to um you can just you can listen you can watch and listen to this orchestra inside for example a theater okay a cinema something like that so it's usually indoor okay and the last one the third one is the Mahori. Mahori traditionally played by women in the courts of Central Thailand and Cambodia. So all um, here we have here women okay, on the floor and um, women on the floor. And usually they perform this in the royal courts or for the kings or queens. Okay, something like that. Okay, so again, we have three primary instrumental ensembles in Thailand. Again, Pipa, okay, Kruwang Sai, and the third one is Mahori. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. So we have here Laos. Okay, so Laos is a very popular or Laos, and we have Pathat Luang as one of its famous Laos famous landmarks. Sata Luang is a very popular Buddhist gold-plated temple. Okay, so um, yearly, yearly there's actually the what we call the Patat Luang festival, okay, that happens every year and a lot of people attend this festival. Okay, now Laos, this country is an independent state of Southeast Asia and officially known as Lao People's Democratic Republic. What 
path that Luang Vientian is one of its famous landmarks. So as I told you, okay, a lot of people, a lot of tourists visit this place or this temple, especially um, during the Wat Pathat Luang festival, okay? And the classical music and dance of Laos is highly influenced, influence, sorry for that, okay, highly influences Okay, sorry for that, okay? Highly influenced by India, Cambodia, and Thailand. Then, the Lao Orchestra can be divided into two categories. So, number one is Sapniai. This is similar to the Pi Path of Thailand with instruments that are strictly percussive but also integrates the use of an oboe. Okay, number two, Sep Noi. This is also known as the Mahori of Thailand. However, it incorporates the use of several kin, which is a ba large bamboo mouth organ and is the most popular folk music instrument of Laos. So again, okay, Sep Noi, the se Sep Noi, okay, uses the kin. Okay, Keen is a large bamboo mouth organ and is the most popular folk music instrument of Laos. So it means like it's like a flute. Okay, it's a woodwind instrument. So I think I have a picture of that. I will show you that later. But again, traditional music called more iam is based around or traditional music called more lam is based around the kin so it means the traditional music more lam is performed okay using the kin so let's see what's what's that kin okay so we have here okay so if you can see like bamboo and bamboo organ woodwind actually organ and then you you blow your you blow the wind here okay so yeah so that's it the kin Okay, so now I let you watch another video, um, but this time it's about or it's about Laos instruments or Laos music. Okay, so it's the Music World Wood Day, meaning to say here um, they use the wood instruments. Okay, so if you can see, this one is the kin, right? So, big mouth bamboo organ, and you blow air into it for you to produce the sound, or for you to produce sound. Okay, see? Here's the kin. So again, I will just show you a little of this video so you can just go to the link below or on the description in the description below so that uh, if you want to watch the full video, okay? Okay, so that's it. Now let's move on to the next one. Okay, so we have here Vietnam. Okay, Vietnam. If Laos has what Wapata Luang, okay, as it's famous or popular, one of its famous or popular landmarks. Okay, Vietnam has Tien Mu Pagoda. Tien Mu Pagoda actually is a very tall tower. Okay, and a very tall structure. Now, there is also a bell, okay, there, that is actually, or there's a bell there on this tower that is actually like 2,000 
kilograms in weight. Wow, that's very heavy, and I think that's a very big. Okay, now anyway, Vietnam is officially known as the Socialist Republic. Republic of Vietnam. Vietnamese music, Nak Vietnam, refers to the ethnic music that originated from the Kin people of Vietnam. This term is also used to address the music of any of numerous mi ethnic minorities, including the Montagnar, Kedagor, Thai, Cham, and others. Vietnamese traditional music can be separated into a few categories or a few major categories. We are going to talk about that later. Divided predominantly by the way in which were used in the people's cultural lives. So let's talk about them. What are these few major categories? Oh, before we continue talking about these categories, let's listen first to this music of Vietnam. <laughs> Okay, don't mind the lyrics. Of course, you cannot understand the lyrics because it's in Vien Vietnamese. But I just want you to focus on the instruments that are used or the instruments that you can hear. So on the musical characteristics like the tempo, the beat, the rhythm, the dynamics, okay? Okay, there you go. So if you want to listen to the full video again, you can go to the link below and listen to the full video But again, that's an example of a Viet Vietnamese music. Okay, now let's continue So let's talk about the categories of Vietnamese music. We have actually three so the first one we have here imperial court music imperial court music okay wait i'll use a pen again okay we have the first one imperial court music so the most popular of this kind is nanak okay that was popularly performed during the tran dynasty to the nguyen dynasty this form of classical music so this is an example of classical music or this is a form of classical music and this form of classical music is also performed in honor of the gods okay and scholars in temples so again nanak is a form of classical music okay the most popular kind of imperial court music and nanak is also performed in honor of the gods and scholars in temples okay now other classical music again classical music other classical music falling into this category imperial court music okay includes the dynak great music and the chunak okay small music now Chunak is actually performed as the chamber music for the king. Okay? So again, we have the first category of Vietnamese music that is imperial court music and they are and these are the examples of imperial court music. We have Nanak, we have Dainak and Chunak. Okay, Nanak is the most popular kind and also performed in honor of the gods and scholars in temples. And then we have Dainak, the great music, and Chunak, the small music, which was performed as chamber music for the king. Okay, now let's move on to the second category. So second category is the folk music. Okay, so this category is extremely diverse. Okay, huge, let's say, because it includes music performed both indoors and outdoors. So you can hear Vietnamese folk music inside a theater, musical theater, or inside a cinema, or indoors, and even outdoors, like on the street, okay, on the ground, okay, 
So, performers of this category are also diverse. Okay, they may be professional musicians or singers, down to the blind artists in the streets who perform to earn their living. Okay, so if you visit Vietnam, you can see people or blind artists in the streets singing, okay, or performing folk music. Vietnamese folk music are performed in different occasions depending on its subcategory. It may be performed in musical theaters, again, as I told you before, streets, okay, courtship rituals, okay, if you like someone or if a guy likes someone, then it can be also performed, it also, it can be performed as well. Okay, ceremonies for invoking spirits. They are sometimes also influenced by Western, meaning U.S. American elements. Some Vietnamist, some Vietnamese music only makes use of female singers, and some have both both male and female singers. So that's the second one, folk music. And the third and the last one is religious and ceremonial music. So this is the music performed in religious rituals or at funerals, okay? So again, we have three categories of Vietnamese music, imperial court music, folk music, and religious and ceremonial music. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. We have here Singapore. Okay, so what do you call this symbol? Or what do you call this one? Okay, we call it the Mer Lion. Okay, this is the Singapore's symbol. So Mer, okay, meaning ocean, that's why mermaid. Okay, that's why we have the word mermaid. So mer means the ocean, and lion, of course, means the lion. So if you can see here, there's the lion head or the head of a lion and okay, the body of a fish. Okay, so that's why it's called the mer lion. And they believe that it's lucky. It's their symbol, Singapore's symbol. Okay, their country's symbol. Now, Singapore, the Republic of Singapore is an independent republic in Southeast Asia, comprised of one main island and about 50 small adjacent adjacent islands of the southern tip of the Malay Peninsula. Through the years, the music industry in Singapore grew having Western influence or American influence. Performances by the Singapore Symphony Orchestra Okay, so we have Singapore Symphony Orchestra as well as ethnic performances so western influence performances performed okay by singapore symphony orchestra and ethnic music performances mainly performed by singapore chinese orchestra okay so since so singapore symphony orchestra western influence performances and singapore chinese orchestra ethnic music performances other performing groups with malay and indian influence are still prevalent until today okay now let's listen to the oriental music or to the traditional music of singapore Yes, very relaxing, right? So it's only like that. All right. So it's um, again, you can you can just go to the link below so that you can listen to the full music or to the full audio of this one okay yeah there you go all right so that's the example of singaporean music okay so do you have questions no questions all right so now again let's summarize so we studied about thailand laos vietnam and singapore so for thailand uh, we knew that 
the elephant is a very national or official national animal and aside from that elephants are really precious to thighs okay and chinese musical principles l and elements plus indian and indonesian musical elements equal to thailand's unique music so they combine chinese musical principles and elements plus indian and indonesian musical elements to create thailand's unique music okay for laos we have there the wapat wapata luang okay the gold plated the gold plated buddhist temple we have Sep Nyai and Sep Noi, these orchestras. And for Vietnam, we have there the Thien Mu Pagoda. Very good. Okay, and then we have three categories of Vietnamese music. Imperial court music, folk music, and religious and ceremonial music. As when we talked about Singapore, okay, and the Merlion here, we knew that there are these orchestras singapore symphony orchestra which play western which plays western influence orchestra or western influence performances and singapore chinese orchestras which plays ethnic performances now if you have questions don't hesitate to type your comment below if none let us now answer okay so i am going to give you 10 seconds to answer each question okay number one which of the following countries is also called land of the free thailand singapore vietnam laos let's see okay if your answer is thailand very good okay next one number two this form of classical music is also performed in honor of the gods and scholars in temples. Nanak, Dainak, Tunak, Sapnyai. Okay, great. So let's see if your answer is... Let's see. If your answer is Nanak, then you are correct. Okay, next. And the last one. Let's answer number three. How many categories of Vietnamese music do they have? Okay, two, three, four, five. If your answer is three, then you are correct. All right, there you go. So who got three over three? <laughs> okay, congratulations. Thank you so much for having this class or this lesson again with me for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then just click like and then the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll get updated whenever i upload video lessons like this so thank you so much again my name is cj sam or teacher cj or ma'am cj and i hope to see you again next time let's continue to learn while having fun goodbye